Ah, Envy. That movie was so bad. Kind of makes me regret buying the tickets. What? What do you mean, what do you mean? Don't tell me you enjoyed that train wreck. You did? Why? What about it was so good? Why do I think it's so bad? Well, it had a super cool concept, but it always misses the execution. The characters were one-dimensional and the plot was only artificial and tense. If you think about it, the entire plot hung on a thread that needed huge logical leaps to understand. What's your excuse? That one character was cute? Uh, well, yes, she was. But she was pretty annoying. Super worried all the time, didn't speak up, self-confident issues. Like, I get it, but get your shit together, dude. What else? You got emotional over the romance? <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty shallow love, I think. Oh, what was that for you? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll get off your ass about it. I guess it's still valid to consume media on a surface level. Don't gotta be all analytical every time. Even I have times where I just want to turn off my brain and just watch something for pure entertainment. You watch things for neuroactivation? That's fair. It's fun to indulge like that from time to time. Hmm? What my ideal type is? In fiction, right? I don't tease me about that. You want me to say that you're my ideal type, is that it? No. I could if you want to. Okay, okay. Honest opinion. Hmm. I tend to like the more confident characters. They're open up about their feelings and are pretty down to earth. Bonus points if they're a little flirty or tense at it. But a must is definitely a tease. On the other hand, I appreciate the more energetic types as well. Always a joy to hang out with cheery optimists. Hmm? You want to know if any of that fits you? Well, what do you think? No. Wrong again. The answer is irrelevant. I love you just the way you are. And it doesn't matter if you're my ideal fantasy or not. I love you. I love who you are. And that's the proof that doesn't affect me. <sighs> hmm? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's nothing. Um, you want to go take a shower first? It's pretty late and we should probably get to bed soon. I'm not dodging your question. I said I'm fine. If you don't want to shower first, then I will. Hey, don't block the way. 
You're not budging until I tell you what's wrong. It's not that anything was wrong, per se. Well, kind of, I guess. But, but, but it's on the past. I just got reminded of the past experiences with the relationships I had before. Nothing really bad. Just sad stuff. Yeah, he wasn't my ideal type at all. But I still loved him so much. He was someone I didn't know I could love. Yet I did. It was such an eye-opening experience. And with you here, it really hammers home that point. To this day, I have never gotten close with anyone similar to my ideal partner. Not alone. Be anyone like that. Constantly see it in the manga, TV shows, movies, but never in real life. So, I just determined that it was just a fantasy. I knew when I'd meet in the future, all my future partners would be hard to love. But as I said, that wasn't the case. As soon as you confessed to me, as a friend, I was pretty shocked. But it didn't take longer than the day for me to realize how amazing you are. <laughs> in fact, we kissed right after school on the same day you confessed. It all happened so fast that I never had the time to realize how similar this was to my past relationships. Now that we've gone on a few dates and became official, I really got to think about it. Ah, sorry. I'm... I'm rambling on. But yeah. That's what's on my mind. Talking about our ideal types got me thinking of the past. Still a little sad that I had a breakup with my ex. But whatever happened... Already happened. Now I have you. I guess I'm just really scared that we might end up the same. When you're first getting into relationships, rather when I did at least, it was easy to be dodied and unrealistic about our expectations for the future. We'd make promises left and right, plans for marriage, Confessions about loving each other forever and ever. <laughs> we were 14. And I know, I'm older now, but... I'm just worried that we'll get into an argument that we'll never resolve. Be the worst. Drift apart as time goes on. I'm scared. <gasps> You're hugging me? <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to pity me like this. <laughs> I feel bad about it. I don't want some sob story to guilt trip you into staying with me. No, I don't hate you. I just don't want this relationship to end either. I want to be with you until we grow old. But I doubt relationships our age last very long. I think that's backed up statistically. Even so, what about you? What do you have to say about all this? 
Nej, det har mm. Mm. Uh, you think I'm cute? And you love the emotions you feel in that relationship? I guess those are valid reasons to be with someone. Like you said, you don't really need complicated motivations to love someone. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I really can't see how you came to love a dumbass like me. That's your ideal type? I don't know whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. <laughs> I'm guessing it doesn't matter. So, are you going to take the lead this time? Well, you're pinning me against the wall. Pretty aggressive tonight, huh? All this to make me feel better. I can't say you're not helping. <laughs> I love you so much. 